Despite only having been around for a little over a decade, Walter has a very interesting character history. Originally created for the 2011 Muppet movie, Walter is a Muppet superfan who helps get the gang back together and eventually joins them. Walter became a new permanent member of the team following this movie and its sequel Muppets Most Wanted. But after that, his role has become pretty interesting, waning and waxing in terms of prominence from project to project, never really being as significant as he was when he was first introduced. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Muppet Deep Dive. I'm your host, Ty, and today we're going to be talking about Walter's history from 2011 to 2023. Walter was first created for the 2011 Muppet movie, where he acts as one of the film's main protagonists. Walter and his brother Gary, portrayed by Jason Segel, are massive, die-hard Muppet fans. And they, alongside Gary's girlfriend Mary, played by Amy Adams, end up helping the Muppets get back together in order to stop an evil oil baron from destroying the old Muppet theater to find oil under it. When he thought they were alone, he said, There's oil under this studio, see? I'm gonna tear it to the ground, see? Sweet, sweet oil, see? People still talk like that? Maybe that's just how he sounded in my head. Walter's a total Muppet nerd. He wears a Kermit t-shirt, a Kermit watch, and knows all sorts of Muppet trivia. He's very sweet and helpful, but also somewhat naive. Walter's overbearing love for the Muppets is great when the Muppets all start to accept him as one of their own, but it becomes detrimental when it begins to drive a wedge between Walter, Gary, and Mary, leaving Walter and his brother Gary to have to decide if they're men or if they're Muppets. Walter envisions himself as a man, but eventually decides that he is a Muppet, and he comes back to the Muppets and joins them. Throughout the movie, Walter is seen whistling at a few different points, and he's also seen to have pretty low self-confidence. When it's time for Walter's own act at the end of the show, he runs away, but after Gary comforts him, Walter walks out on stage and decides that he'll whistle. The Oil Baron is defeated, the day is saved because the Muppets are back together, everybody sings and dances, and Walter is now officially a Muppet. Since he was the protagonist of the film, it took a while to get Walter just right. Designer Paul Andrejo designed 14 different Walters with 25 different color and fabric pattern ideas. Walter's role in the story was tweaked a little bit during its development. Originally, instead of being Gary's brother, he was supposed to be his friend. A scene originally planned for the film, but cut, showed a stork dropping off Walter as a baby. These ideas were probably put in to explain how Walter looks so different from Gary, with Gary being an actual man and Walter, of course, being a Muppet. Honestly, I prefer the way the final movie did it. Having them be brothers makes things a whole lot funnier. Several different Muppeteers were considered for the role of Walter, including Kevin Clash, Matt Vogel, Bill Beretta, and Joey Mazzarino. In the end, Peter Linz was decided for Walter, and he continues to be Walter's puppeteer to this day. During Man or Muppet, Human Walter was portrayed by Jim Parsons, with his voice being dubbed over by Peter Linz. Or am I a Muppet? Am I a Muppet? Walter made several press appearances in the lead-up and following the 2011 Muppet movie, with the first one being on Jake's Takes on November 5th, 2011. Following the movie, Walter's first appearance as a full-fledged Muppet was two years later in 2013's Lady Gaga and the Muppets Holiday Spectacular. Walter is seen quite frequently throughout the special, singing and dancing along to the show's performances of Venus, Art Pop, and Applause. Walter's next appearance would come only a few weeks later when, on December 5th, 2013, he appeared in the Muppisode online short Food Fight, which saw the Swedish chef have a food fight against Gordon Ramsay. In this short, Walter doesn't have a very big role, but much like in the Lady Gaga special, he's once again seen alongside the main Muppet cast. Now get out of here, you Muppets. Do you know I love it when people no, call no, no, me no, that? No, Walter, Walter, what, we really what, have to go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 uh, sorry about that. I eat frog's legs. In 2014, Walter played a significant role in the film Muppets Most Wanted, a direct sequel to 2011's The Muppets. While Gary and Mary were no longer in the picture, Walter continued to stay with the Muppets on their world tour. Walter became the first Muppet to feel that something was off with Kermit, who in actuality had been replaced with Russian criminal Constantine. Eventually, Walter, Fozzie, and Animal team up to rescue Kermit from a Russian gulag and help stop Constantine. Later on in 2014, Disney released an app called Disney Movies Anywhere, 
a streaming app that would allow you to watch a variety of different Disney movies. The app also featured exclusive shorts themed around certain 2014 Disney movie releases, including Planes, Fire, and Rescue, and The Muppets. The Muppet Shorts made up a six-part series called Disney Drive-On with the Muppets, which actually starred Walter as he manages his way in the Muppets' new production headquarters at Walt Disney Studios. The series is honestly a pretty weird footnote in Muppet history. Walter is one of very few Muppet characters to appear, the others being Big Mean Carl, Pepe, Bobo, and several animals, as well as Kermit, who's just in the first episode. And the series is really more about Disney Studios and the production of movies and Disney movies than it is the Muppets. It's a really strange series of shorts. In 2015, Walter appeared alongside several other Muppet characters in the presentation pilot for the brand new Muppet show coming to ABC. So, after several years of prominently appearing with the Muppets, what was Walter's role on this brand new show? It must have been pretty big, right? No. No, he, he wasn't in it. Not even once. Not at all. When asked, Bill Beretta explained that the crew behind the show didn't really feel that there was a good place to fit Walter in, that he and several other Muppet characters just didn't have a role that they could fill in in the new series, and thus Walter was cut. With the exception of the Kodachrome YouTube video, Walter would not make any appearances in 2015 or 2016 while the ABC Muppet Show was airing. However, after its cancellation, he would begin appearing once again, making his reintroduction in a few episodes of Muppets Thought of the Week, which was a YouTube series. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> in 2017, Walter also appeared in the Muppets Take the Bull live show. In 2018, he would appear in the UK counterpart to this show, The Muppets Take the O2, albeit in pretty small roles in both places. Walters continued to make consistent appearances with The Muppets over the past five years. While he certainly isn't as prominent as he was when he was first introduced, he's become a pretty consistently appearing member of The Muppets supporting cast. In 2019, Walter was one of several Muppet characters to appear in ads for the Facebook portal. In 2020, he made a few new TV appearances, including an appearance with the other Muppet characters on an episode of James Corden, and an appearance in the Disney Family Sing-Along Volume 2. Also in 2020, Walter hosted his own segment in the Disney Plus series Muppets Now, titled Muppet Masters. Only appearing twice in the show in episodes 1 and 5, the segment featured Walter uncovering new aspects of the personalities of Muppet characters. In episode 1, he learns that Kermit is an expert photobomber, and in episode 5, he learns that Uncle Deadly is a master at stage combat. Play to the back of the theater! The where? Don't forget oh. to be dramatic, and don't forget to smile! <laughs> Walter also appeared in Miss Piggy's segment in one episode. In 2021's Muppets Haunted Mansion, Walter portrays one of the bride's five murdered husbands. Specifically, he's dressed as Ambrose Harper, her first husband, and thus first victim. Well, she did nibble my neck once, before she snapped it. So Where? lovingly. What's wrong with him? How should I know? I never married her. This is currently Walter's most recent appearance. Outside of puppet form, Walter's made appearances in a book or two, as well as in the mobile game My Muppet Show, where you could unlock Walter in both the kitchen and the big house stage, the latter of which was made exclusively as a tie-in with Muppets Most Wanted. In both places, Walter's musical contribution is, appropriately, a whistle. Some physical Walter merchandise has been released over the years as well, including plushes for him in both 2011 and 2014. Walter was also the chase release for Series 3 of Muppet Vinyl Mations, released in 2013. And there you have it, the full history of Walter from 2011 to 2023. Being such a recent character, it's interesting to see just how much history Walter has already had. It's interesting to see how Walter's been adapted into the main Muppet cast after his original movie debut. Sometimes it works, like in some of the more recent appearances, and sometimes he's just straight up not there at all, like in the 2015 show. But I'm glad that we're at a point where Walter is being consistently used again. I think Walter's place currently in the supporting cast of the Muppets is a great fit for him, and I hope to see them continue to consistently use him in the future. While he's not a favorite character of mine, I always enjoy seeing him pop up and seeing what ways they incorporate him into the larger Muppet cast, and it's always great to see that Walter is still living the dream, working with his idols.